Take it away, David Stern. Tracy Lamar McGrady Jr., born in May 24, 1979, will go on to have a successful basketball career. Best known for his tenure with the NBA's teams, the Houston Rockets, Atlanta Magic, and the Toronto Raptors. Tracy McGrady will go on to be a seven-time NBA All-Star, a two-time NBA scoring champion, NBA's Most Improved Player Award winner 2001, two-time All-NBA First Team, three-time All-NBA Second Team, and two-time All-NBA Third Team, and also, in 1997, being the USA Today High School Player of the Year Award. Now, why am I talking about Tracy McGrady? Because Tracy McGrady is one of the best players in the league. Back then, besides his injuries, I mean, he had some forgettable years when he was on the Pistons, the Hawks, and also the Spurs. But still, if he didn't have any injuries, I mean, back then, they was comparing him to Kobe Bryant. Now, you say that now, you know, the Tracy McGrady that you saw in the NBA Finals was not the same back in, uh, from 97 to 2007. That's when he was really doing big things. And so I figured that I would do a video just for him. Now you see, I have the, you know, Houston Rockets, you know, jersey. You know, back when he had the famous 13 points in 35 seconds, which is amazing. So will he make the Hall of Fame? I don't know, but I hope that someone puts it in him because he deserves it. Now here I have the Tracy McGrady poster for the NBA Shootout 2004 video game cover. Now this is back when he was in his heyday, when he was one of like arguably. Not one of the best one, but the best player in the league. Yeah, a couple diecasts of the of him was on the Orlando Magic and the Houston Rockets. McGrady posted him holding the world on his hands, about to shoot it. Nice photo, got it for Christmas. And over here, I have the It Takes Five uh, poster here with Chauncey Billups, Tim Duncan, Gilbert Arenas, and Kevin Arnett. And the last but not least, Trace McGrady finishing the dunk. It takes five. So this video is going to be a collection of me talking about Tracy McGrady and will make the Hall of Fame. And also, I have two NBA My Team videos, two. So this is the added bonus for everybody. But you're going to see how these two My Teams turn out sour. Even though I win the game, they just, you'll see. So. Let's talk about T-Mac. I was very excited for the guy whenever he said he retired. And look at the dunk by Kendall Gill. Whew. So, um, when he retired, I was I was happy for the guy. I mean, the guy finally, even though he didn't play and contribute for his team, he still, you know, advanced not even past the first round. But he got he made it to the NBA Finals. Now, I wish he would have played a little bit. Because the way Manu Ginobili was playing in the NBA Finals, I think McGrady could have contributed. Contributed, but you know, but he was just there for support. And and the fact that he got past the first round, and the second round, the third round, even to the NBA Finals, I was happy for him because he finally did it. You know, uh, will he be a Hall of Famer? I hope. So. I hope so. They vote him because most likely some NBA NBA scoring champions are in the Hall of Fame. And it helps better that he was a two-time NBA scoring champion. And and look at the defense by James Worthy. Uh, from his his tenure from 1997 to 2007 was his best year, arguably one of the best in NBA history. Uh, he was a two-time, like I said, he was a two-time NBA scoring champion. But that only happened whenever he was when he signed with the Orlando Magic, and that's when he really blossomed as an NBA superstar. Uh, Tracy could do it all. He could shoot. He could pass. He was a great ball handler, a uh, ball handler, and it helped. Also, he was six eight. So, and then they will also have battles between who was better, Kobe or McGrady. Now you say that you say that now, but back then McGrady was balling. Like people forget how good McGrady was, and like it foul on the fast break. You gotta. You, well, how are you gonna stop George Gerben? You gonna let him? Get the layup in, or you gotta follow. So, I hope they put McGrady in the Hall of Fame. I think he deserves it. And 
and there's a couple things he's best known for. It. Um, he 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 put up 62 points against the Washington Wizards against a great player as in Gilbert Arenas. And look at the steal. Russell Rushford gets his ankle broken, and then he comes back and then gets a layup, so he redeems himself. And then a play or well, a game that will live on as McGrady's signature career, but at at signature moment in his career was the famous what? Oh well, I well I well, I guess well he must have unplugged his internet connection, so I get the win. So. Uh, 2004 against the San Antonio Spurs. They were, I think they were down by, I think, 12 with like a minute or, no, two minutes left to go. Everybody was leaving. What? They didn't count it as a win? What? So there's no way I'm going to be able to win. There's no way because I needed that, I needed that win for me to push, for me to push to the fourth seed. So there's no point in me playing these games. I got to start all over again. But that was a nice lob between uh, John Stockton and um, George Gervy. So, 2004, uh, the San Antonio Spurs are up by 12, or yeah, up by 12, but like 12 minutes, well, two minutes left to go in the fourth quarter. Everybody's leaving. They said the Rockets lost. McGrady says, "Uh, uh, I got this." He scores. He goes on a tremendous offensive tear, where he scores 13 points in 35 seconds. 13 points, 35 seconds. You put that in YouTube, McGrady automatically pops up. That was amazing. So many clutch shots and so many threes. It was it was amazing to watch. Matter of fact, when I was little, I was watching the game, and before it got to to the fourth quarter, I was like, "Man, this game is over." And so I had to go to bed because I had uh, elementary school in the morning. <laughs> so and then the next day, I go to school. It was like, "Yo, you see the game, Josh?" I was like. Yeah, the Rockets lost. I'm like, no, 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 you gotta go back home and watch the game. So I go on. So I go on ESPN when I when I get home. Whenever I got home from school, and I go see the highlights. I'm like, oh my god, that was amazing. Speaking of amazing, you see that dunk by Russell Westbrook. So I was like, oh man, I can't believe I slept on that game. But that will live on as my greatest signature skill, as my greatest signature moment in his career. So I hope he, I hope the voters put him in the Hall of Fame. And once again, I get the uh, the waiting for opponents. So I guess he must have unplugged his internet connection again. So hopefully I get. Well, it doesn't really matter if I get the win anyway. So on now I gotta start all over again. This is Young Justice Life signing out.